Oh my gosh, we were wrong all along. Because it's freaking paranormal. Like, who can see that shit coming? Hello, everybody. Today is the day. What does that mean? That means that I'm finally going to be reading Layla by Colleen Hoover. I have had this book in my possession since Christmas time, and it's the middle of February, and I keep putting it off because I'm afraid. I'm afraid, you guys. I'm not sure if you guys know, especially if you're new to my channel, but I love Colleen Hoover. I love her adult emotional romances specifically. I'm not a huge fan of her young adult books. I wasn't a huge fan of her thriller book, Verity. And now I'm really, really afraid to read this because this is a paranormal romance. What is a paranormal romance? I don't know. We don't know. I'm not even gonna look it up. I haven't read the synopsis in a really long time and some of my friends just recently finished this and they said, Jackie, if you don't remember the synopsis, don't read it before you're gonna read it. Like just go into it blind, like for this video. So what is this about? I have no clue. I, I honestly actually don't even remember like what it's about. There are so many people that say that they don't know if I'm going to love this or I'm going to hate it. And that also makes me really nervous. <laughs> this is a spoiler vlog. So that means that there will be spoilers throughout the whole video. Now, before you click off, I will actually be telling you like what page number I'm on before I go into the spoilers. So if you want to read this book along with me, you can while watching this video. So I'll actually like put a little slide or something. It depends on how lazy I am with editing. And I'll tell you and I'll be like, hey, I'm on page. 202 and I can't believe this happened, you know, something like that. I would love if you guys like read this book while watching this video or even if you already read it and you can comment down below when I'm talking about things or you can even come back in the future and watch this and comment down below as well while you're reading along. Okay, it's actually 10.54. No, I did not just wake up but I do look like that because I'm not really getting ready today. It's a day off and like, I don't need to put makeup on. I'm already married. But I was reorganizing um, my little coffee area back here. I have not liked how it looked like ever since we moved in. And so I've just been like rearranging some things. I got some really cheap bottles of wine at Aldi recently. So I have those in that corner and I want to run to the dollar store to get just a couple like little storage things because I ended up moving our cake cups and tea bags and stuff to the drawer that's underneath. So that way you can just pull it out and there you go. You don't even have to walk to the pantry now. I also have to bake cookies today for a bunch of my coworkers at work because I was recently teaching them like how to, it was like a retraining of making coffee because I like, I'm kind of a barista, kind of not a barista anyway and i promised them i was like if you guys like practice and you know how to do like the quiz when i come back from work then i'll give you a surprise so the surprise is cookies so we will be baking those later today as well unfortunately i don't think that i have the audiobook for this because i was looking and it wasn't available on scribd or libro fm or what was the other one or libby i mean because like libraries don't get cool books like this. I don't know, maybe I could like somehow do like a free trial download of like a different audiobook so that way I could like get this for free and then cancel it. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But um should I start reading and then I'll go to the store? That might be a good idea, but I also might not be able to focus. Anyway, I'm drinking my coffee and look at this mug my husband got me for Valentine's Day. If you guys play Animal Crossing, I love it. It's so it's it's hilarious. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, how long is this book? Wow, it's not even 300 pages. Okay, so I'm going to make myself read until, excuse you, Graham. I'm trying to film a video here, okay? Okay, I think I'm going to read to page 102, which is to chapter 10. So I'll read this much before I allow myself to go to the store and like get the stuff for the coffee bar or at least look around and get the stuff I need for cookies and stuff. So let's read and I'll keep you guys updated and I might make a second cup of coffee.
my coffee station. It looks so good. I still need to put a, I'm gonna make like a little Canva graphic thing um, cause I make a lot of those for like my book club. And I bought a $3 frame, which is way cheaper than buying like a coffee sign. So I'm just going to, Graham, I got him a little toy. So he's like playing with it. <laughs> um, anyway. So the coffee sign isn't like ready yet, but I have the frame sitting there so you guys can see like how it's gonna be. I absolutely love it. So I did have this plant from Target. They were only $5. And then these are glass straws that I've had for a while, but this jar I got at the dollar store. Um, this spoon holder, I believe, is from Target and was only like $1.99 before. And then this frame, I didn't take like the plastic off yet, but I'm going to do a little printable thing in the middle. And the frame was only $3 at Walmart, which is so much cheaper doing that and just printing off my own graphic compared to buying like an actual sign. Then we have the coffee pot. And then over here, I just did a little honey and we got this like honey spoon. I don't know, it came with something. Thing, and I was like, let's keep that because I might use it one day and now I do and then I just got this little like Glass thing from the dollar store and I put some sugar in for when other people come over because like we don't really use sugar in our coffee I use honey in my tea, but it's nice to have for when people come over Then I just have always had this coffee thing for like a really long time and I have the base to our little um, milk steamer, which I actually keep the steamer up here. So the base is there. So that way, if we need to like steam the milk, we can do that. And then I got this um, container bucket thing from Walmart for a couple dollars. And then all of these are individual flowers from Walmart that were also a couple dollars. So I made this little um, like bouquet myself. Um, so yeah, we can just like pull this down and steam our coffee if we need to. And then this um, base I also got at Walmart. It was like $4.97 or something like that. It's actually like a sign that you could paint if you wanted to. I found it in the crafting section. Um, so it has like a little like holder on it, like string holder, but I'm using it as a very cheap base, which I really, really love. And then I changed this drawer into the coffee and tea station drawer. So these containers are the ones that I got at the dollar store and I love them because these are lids. So like this is all my loose leaf tea and uh, matcha and collagen. So that's super, cool i have my little like teaspoons and stuff here if i need to get them out and then i got these at the dollar store so we have some of the tea bags that i have and then we have all of our k cups which unfortunately they do slide around a little bit but that's okay um yeah so all of our k cups so it's really easy now to make a coffee and then i did get some other things at the dollar store so these containers came from the dollar store I set up this how I liked it, which I did get this from the dollar store actually a couple weeks ago, and I put my avocado oil in there so it's easy to cook with. Um, that I didn't do anything to. This, um, this I got at the dollar store as well, and this I had from the dollar store before, so I organized this a little bit better. Love that. And then this drawer, I didn't have any containers in, and so I'm really glad how this turned out. These are all from the dollar store, so this is way better. Everything was like jumbled in here before. It's so loud sometimes <laughs> i did not make cookies yet i'm about to but let me show you guys my table setting Ooh, so um this i had gotten from walmart before um but this came from the dollar store and i love it and then i got the vase from the dollar store before and all of these flowers i just got from walmart so i built this bouquet by myself and the salt and pepper shakers alvin had gotten for me before from uh, Amazon and then this this jar came from the dollar store and then these again were the flowers from Walmart so I made a little bouquet for this shelf which I really love I had to get a new battery for my camera because it was dying um, but I have been listening to Layla I didn't listen to it while I was like at the store because um, I felt like I wouldn't be able to like keep track of what was going on but I was listening to it the whole time I was like organizing all of this stuff. 
And sorry, I'm always out of breath after coming down the steps. Let me see how far I am. It says that I have like three hours left because I've been listening to it on 1.8. Um, how do I feel? Actually, this doesn't look right. I think I have five hours or no, is the whole thing only five hours? I don't know how to read this. <laughs> But let me put you guys on the stand and I'll tell you guys my thoughts so far because I'm confused. Okay, do I actually know what's going on in the book? No, no, I don't. Um, so we have Leeds, Leeds Gabriel or whatever his name is. Um, and he met, oh, I didn't tell you guys what page I'm on. We gotta figure this out first. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm actually at chapter 10, which was page 100 and three which is literally where i said i was going to read to before i went shopping which obviously i didn't listen to that because i was able to do a free trial and get layla for free so i've been listening to the audiobook but so that's where i am right now chapter 10 100 or so pages in so yeah i think i'm like one third of the way through the book um, I, yeah, I literally don't know what's going on. So we have Leeds Gabriel who met Layla. He was like playing in this like really weird, awkward band and he met Layla. And of course, you know, he thinks he, she's like the prettiest, coolest, quirkiest, skinniest with the curviest body that has like the best sex and like, you know, all of those things that I actually really dislike in romance books. It's like, okay, um, why don't the guys just like the girls that are not always like the best at everything or like the prettiest or, you know, all that kind of stuff, but whatever, we're going to go with it. So supposedly she's like a goddess swimming in the pool and her sister like gives her this little white tablet and then gives some to Leeds as well. And he's like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm like, I'm like the best, like high ever. And literally she's like, it's aspirin. I don't know, that was a little cheesy to me, <laughs> but <laughs> to each their own, I guess. So anyway, he feels like he's high on life with Layla. And then it's after that, it's kind of like really confusing because I don't know if I missed a part while listening to it or if it's supposed to be confusing, but it seems like Layla has panic attacks. Like I think it fast forwards like between different things and there's also like interviews in here. So that's why I think I'm confused. It's a little hard when you're like, listening and not like actually reading and knowing like okay this is an interview this is a future this is the past but it seems like layla had like a head injury and now she doesn't remember things because i guess they've been dating for a while and she also has like panic attacks because he was talking about that but then also they moved to this house so they're living in this house that's like haunted by like a ghost named Willow. But then also Layla is like doing things in the dark at night because like Leeds has these video cameras up. And so he catches Layla doing certain things. And like she looks at the video cameras for like 15 seconds. And so like, it's like she knows that they're there, but she's like, I don't know, sleepwalking or I don't know. It's crazy, you guys. I don't know what's going on. So this is really hard for me to explain what I've read so far. And I really don't know if it's because I missed like a major part or yeah, if it's like this. So if I still don't understand what's going on after I'm listening and reading more, then I might have to do what I did with like Grown when I listened to Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson and kind of go back to the beginning and listen again after I understand like who's who and kind of what the timeline is. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. We know that there's a ghost named Willow. Um, yeah, and that's cool, I guess. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm actually going to, I have to make a lot of stuff. So I'm going to start making my cookies first. Then I'm going to also be making cornbread because I'm gonna be using up some soured milk that I have. And I found like that you obviously could put that in cornbread and it would still taste good. Um, so I'm trying, cause I'm like trying really hard not to be wasting food since I'm doing a whole like budgeting thing now. Not that I wasn't before, but I'm like really nitpicky now. So not wasting any food. I actually had a bunch of tomatoes that were going rotten earlier and I roasted those in the oven. So I'm actually gonna puree those in my Vitamix into a sauce and then like freeze it for when I need it. 
Um, so I'm gonna finish that because those were in the oven. I'm going to make the cornbread for dinner and I'm actually going to make a vegetable, like a creamy vegetable soup. That's also gonna use up some of the milk that's going to be going bad soon in a couple days because we get our new gallon soon from the farm. And yeah, and that way we can eat like creamy vegetable soup using up a bunch of vegetables that are like, going past their due date in my fridge and with the cornbread. So that's gonna be a really good hearty meal. And yeah, while I'm doing all of that, I'm gonna be listening to Layla and that's what I'm doing. So it's actually a really good day off. I love having these like productive days where I'm like cooking and making like really cool stuff. Cause like, that's my like love language obviously. And I love cooking and baking, but then also I'm getting to like film for you guys. I got to organize. I got to make my house look pretty. I'm reading a book. Like this is the best day ever. All right, let's go ahead and continue listening. Okay, what is happening in this book? I am at page 144 and I just finished making the cookies and putting those in the fridge. And I literally was like, oh my gosh, I need to get on the camera and like, like what? So it seems like there's a ghost named Willow and she's now using Layla's body in order to like communicate efficiently with leads. So it's like Layla was going to sleep cause she drank too much after eating tacos and Willow then is using her body in order to also eat tacos. And then Leeds was asking like, oh, do you know like what Layla is thinking? Like, you know, when you're in her body, can you understand her thoughts? And she's like, no, I try and like not think about her thoughts because like, I guess her thoughts are crazy. She's like, it's like reading a book, you know, you just kind of like, you know, not, I don't know, hear or listen or read to whatever Layla's thoughts are while you're in her body. And Leeds is, you know, in his head, he's thinking, man, this is a possession. Like, this is probably really bad, but like, it's worth it for Willow to eat tacos because he's like kind of falling in love with Willow. So he's falling in love with a ghost that is using his girlfriend's body. What? I think that's what I'm getting at right now. And it's weird. It's really weird. And I can understand why people would think that I wouldn't like this book because I feel like it's stupid, but I guess I'll keep listening. <laughs> oh, also another note. I got this Winking Owl Cabernet from Aldi. It's $2.97, so super cheap. And it's really, really good. I, I like red wine, but I don't like really, really like dry red wine. And I wanted to try this out and I thought, you know, for $3, if I don't like it, it's not a big deal. I'll use it as cooking wine. I actually really like it. It's like light and fruity and slightly sweet. It, is, it does not have that like weird dry, like, you know, red wine taste. It's really good. I really like it. So that is definitely going on my list to buy. I also, well, I love this 19 Crimes. It's like just the red blend, it has this guy on it. The cab is really good in 19 Crimes, but those bottles are like $10. They're not at Aldi, but they're at $10 at the other store. This one I also got at Aldi. This is called Flirty Bird and it's a red blend and I have not tried it yet. I think this one might've been like $6 maybe, maybe it was only four, I don't remember. But yeah, those are my red wines that I'm trying. I also got the Winking Owl. I got a white Pinot Grigio to try because I wasn't sure if I would like that. So I do have that in the fridge. Obviously you can tell I went and did a wine haul at Aldi. But yeah, so this is the Winking Owl Pinot Grigio. Um, I'll drink that another day and I'll let you guys know how I like it. Now it's time for me to make cornbread and the soup.
about to sit down with my soup and cornbread and I am pulling out one more sheet tray of cookies and I have one more to go in and then I can start working on the icing. But guys, this book is so different than anything I've ever read before. So it says I have one hour and eight minutes left and I don't know, like, okay. So I did find out that the reason that like Layla has memory problems and stuff is the fact that um, she, like her and Leeds were shot by Sable, which was like an old stalkerish girlfriend that Leeds had. So when they first started dating, um, Sable was like stalking him, then ended up shooting both of them. So that's like what happened with Layla and why they had like moved to this house in order to like, he was gonna like nurse her back to health. And that was like six months ago. And he had already like bought the ring to propose to her, but it's been like so weird because like he has been falling in love with a ghost who has been using Layla's body like at night while she's sleeping. And so he's like attracted to the ghost because of Layla's body, but like he knows that they're like two different people. So it's weird, like he'll know when like Willow is in Lay Layla's body or whether it's just Layla. And he's like, oh, like I love like Willow and her personality and disposition, but like, oh my gosh, Layla. So I just like really, don't like leads like I'm so mad at like him and it, like he isn't being honest about his feelings and he's only really keeping like Layla around because Willow needs the body if that makes sense you know I really actually do love love triangles um, but I've never read a love triangle where one of them is a ghost like what anyway so we got to the like big twist so if you don't have more than an hour left of the book, like, can I figure out the pages? I don't know. Okay, if you're past like pages, like 220 or so, then you'll know Sable was dead because Leeds shot her after she shot both of them. And she's the ghost. Who would have saw that coming? So that was actually a really good twist that I did not see coming. Let's all give Colleen Hoover a round of applause for that because yeah, I don't know what she was smoking while writing this book, but I'm kind of like, I'm confused and yet I'm also impressed. You know what I mean? If you're reading it, you know what I mean. So yeah, we're finding out now that Sable, who's dead, is the ghost of Willow. I mean, she just made up a name and she didn't really like realize that she was Sable, although she has Sable's like memories. So when she's in Layla's body, she has like Sable's memories and Layla's memories. And she keeps saying, she's like, I'm a different person than Sable. Like I'm not who Sable was. So it's weird. Like the spirit of Sable, the dead spirit of Sable is Willow in Layla's body. Um, but like is a different person. So like, that's why Leeds like fell in love with her and she wasn't like crazy and like, I don't know, possessive or who like stalkerish like Sable was. So yeah, I mean, that's where I'm at right now. Don't know what's gonna happen. This will find out like, I don't know, like Leeds wants to leave. He's like leaving the house with Layla right now cause he was buying the house. Um, but they, like she had wanted to leave. So he's leaving now because he's like, uh, we have to get away from the ghost of Sable or whatever the heck she is. So let's peace out. Um, yeah, so I'm going to eat my soup and oh, hopefully my cookies aren't burning. Okay, we're good. They're good. That was uh, kind of scary there for a second. But anyway, okay, I'm going to put these cookies down, eat my soup, drink more wine, finish the book, and then I will be back to tell you all of my thoughts. Oh my gosh, we were wrong all along. It's actually Layla that's Willow because Layla actually died when she got shot and Sable went into Layla's body. I have to icing these cookies before the icing like is not good anymore. So I'll come back, but I just, what, what? Okay, I finished Layla. Um, it only took a couple glasses of wine. Uh, to, to do it. 
But honestly, okay, let's be honest. Oh no, my camera battery is dying. Okay, so my thoughts about Layla. What am I going to rate this book? So let's just talk about the last bit. So we found out that Layla was actually, gosh, it's so confusing, hold on. So we found out that Sable wasn't Willow. It was actually Layla that was Willow. Um, and Sable was in Layla's body pretending to be Layla. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, they're trying to figure out like, oh, how is Layla like going to be in a body for the rest of her life when actually Sable is stuck in her body for the rest of her life? Um, so that way Leeds can like be with Layla, like the real Layla forever and ever. And they have this crazy idea of like having Layla's body slash Sable's spirit die by um, drowning. So Leeds holds Layla slash Sable underneath the water so that way she dies and then they're able to like take her to the hospital and resuscitate her so that way when she comes back alive the real ghost of Layla like Layla's ghost can go into Layla's original body and be Layla and Layla and that's how it ends and it works out so cool great glad that you know if you ever want to try it out it's gonna work because it did so I don't know <laughs> Uh, I'm so... Okay, so number one, I didn't like Leeds as a character at all. I was already angry at him for like kind of falling for Willow when he was supposed to be in love with Layla, which obviously we find out that that was Sable and like that's why like Layla was different and okay, sure, like we can be like, oh, well, it was Sable. Like no wonder he wasn't in love with her anymore. But like still, everything that he did was just, it went, like, it was the wrong way, obviously, to actually have a relationship, and especially even when he was, like, you know, being engaged to her and stuff. That just all went the wrong way. So, like, I didn't like Leeds at all. So, even them having, like, a happily ever after, like, I did feel emotions, but I almost feel like I felt emotions for Layla and not for Leeds. Like, I was, like, happy that Layla got back into her body, but I wasn't shipping that relationship 100% just because Leeds wasn't my favorite person. Normally in Colleen Hoover books, I feel like I do like the male interest, like the romantic male interest. Um, but for this one, I just didn't like him very much. <laughs> I also thought it was very interesting that she had songs and lyrics in this book. It reminded me a lot of, I think it's maybe someday where the guy is deaf and he writes lyrics and songs for his like brother to perform. And there were a lot of like songs and lyrics in that book as well. And I think there's even like a soundtrack that you can listen to with the book. So this one really gave me vibes of maybe someday. As far as my star rating goes, like I didn't love this book. Am I going to remember it because of like the weird concept? Yes. Should you read this if you like Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinbro? Yes. Were there some good twists in there? Yes. Like, obviously I didn't see it coming because it's freaking paranormal. Like, who can see that shit coming? In reality, it was just okay. Like, yes, I was impressed that Colleen Hoover, like, came up with a concept like this. Um, that's very, like, it's definitely different. Like, she went above and beyond, you know what I mean? but I wasn't in love with it. Like it wasn't a, oh my gosh, five star read. I don't even think it was a four star read. I feel like it was better than a three star. So I think that my rating is going to be a three and a half. That's where I'm just gonna stick for right now. I can update you guys in my wrap up at the end of the month once I think about it more. And so yeah, that's where I am right now. I definitely think that I do have to think about it a little bit more and talk to other people. This is like a talk to your book friends type of book, you know? But I'm glad that I read it. Like I'm glad that I'm not like wondering what this book is about because that's what I was doing. Everyone was like, this book is so crazy. And I was like, I don't know what you mean, you know? So now I know, now I know, now you know, if you watch this video, I don't think I left any really important things out. I think I caught it all. But anyway, so that's it. We're done with this. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm actually going to drink more wine and play Overcooked with some of my friends. So I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye everyone.